Hello everyone, this is Sabriana speaking. As some of you may know, I graduated from UCF with an animation degree and now pursuing a media design course hoping to open more doors within the graphic design field. I first want to comment what an educational amazing four weeks this has been. From the textbooks, articles to the videos, these resources have expanded our minds and allow us to view design from a different viewpoint. There are three important things I've learned this month about defining client needs. Catherine Best recorded the first ideal when she described that design will add the most value when it operates and overlaps objectives from both the organization and the customer's desires. The second ideal was revealed in an interview by Lori Thomas Ross when she stated that branding drives brands and the end result creates sensory elements which invigorates memory. A great example of this element would be the Nike product, for when that famous Swoosh logo is shown, everyone can relate to not only sports, but the Nike product as a whole. The last principle taught me that is we as designers do not only have the responsibility of changing the identity of a company or product, but also changing the communication of the brand. The last three sectors I've decided to embark upon is apparel, at-risk youth programs, and furniture. Within the apparel sector, I decided to examine the brands of Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, H&M, and Lulu's. Forever 21 has leaned the industry as a fast fashion realtor for 27 years. Charlotte Russe was a close second as a realtor catering to women from the ages 18 to 35. Coming in third within the industry is the brand H&M, which designs trendy items that are made quickly and cheaply. The lesser known is Lulu's for fourth place, a sisterly owned business with the most current styles that strive to have the best quality. Within the at-risk programs, the leader is Hope for New York, a financial resource that has been serving the poor and the marginalized New York for over 100 years. Rescue Missions is placed within second setting, leading one of the largest networks of crisis centers. Placing third within the industry setting is American Camp Association, which can accredit for over 2,400 camps that provide powerful lessons in character building and skill development. Coming in fourth place is the Browery Mission that served the homeless in Hungary since 1879. The last sector I decided to break down is furniture. Leading this industry is IKEA, which hosts more than 150 stores in 29 countries. Their website alone gets more than 83,000 hits a day. Coming in close second is Rooms to Go, which has the advantage of selling by the room instead of by the piece. In third place arrives Ashley Furniture, which produces products that are more aimed at the budget-minded consumer that is looking for a quick delivery. And last but not least comes Shabby Chic, that creates a formula of cozy with a mix of comfortable and vintage furniture. In regards to which sector I wish to pursue for developing my thesis, that would be the apparel sector. Lulu's will be the company I will expand upon and develop a multimedia campaign for. In my opinion, Lulu's makes very desirable and beautiful quality with not only their clothing, but their accessories and shoes as well. They are just overlooked because the other brands within this sector take control and are more widely known. Another factor would be a storefront. Lulu's is a solely web-based store where others have stores across the globe. Lulu's has the potential to grow to become a contender within this sector. It just needs a little help from design. The first aspect I'd approve upon is their social media aspect. Right now, social media websites contain the key to spreading to the masses. Catherine Best explains it perfectly when she states that the fact is design world is changing around us, and sometimes in an extremely fast pace. Right now, we live in a technological world, and I think increasing their online material to various sources will improve their attention to their targeted market. I also have an idea for a virtual fitting room. Since Lulu's does not have a store to rely on, they lose that in-store experience. I believe creating these virtual fitting rooms will allow people to see the clothes on themselves and encourage them to buy them. Lori Thomas Ross helps benefit this idea by stating that using up-to-date technology is a key to inventing a new or better way to market. The last focus concentrates on the component of interpretation. We need to show Lulu's a path of simplicity, originality, and value. This can be geared toward their logo to enrich it from a childish look to a more simplistic and adult design. This overall marketing strategy can be applied to design of their website to become more cohesive and appeal more to the masses. The market orientation will function in enriching the company and focusing on revamping various production processes to be more responsive to market needs and demands. These are my ideals and thank you for listening to me on my adventure toward my thesis work. I look forward to hearing all of yours.